After you've created a development or testing version of your app, the next thing to do is to install the app on mobile devices and test it to make sure it installs and runs correctly. For iOS devices, you need to download and install the IPA file that PhoneGap Build created. And for Android devices, you download and install the APK file. Thankfully, PhoneGap Build provides a really easy way to do this. To begin, go to the PhoneGap Build website and sign in with your Adobe ID. I'll show you how to install the development app on an iPhone. The process for Android devices is very similar. The only real difference is that you can only install the iOS development app on devices that you registered with Apple and included in your mobile provision file. You learned about this in an earlier lesson. An Android app, however, can be installed on as many different devices as you wish. On your mobile device, run any app that reads QR codes. On an iPhone, the camera app will read QR codes, so you don't need a separate app. Point the camera at the QR code displayed next to your app on the PhoneGap Build website. Your QR code reading app should capture the QR code and offer to open the URL in the browser on your device. Tap to open the URL, and then you should be prompted to install the Gilbert Guide app. Tap Install and then leave the browser. You should see the app installed on one of your screens. Cross your fingers and tap to run the app that was just installed. If your app installed and runs correctly, breathe a big sigh of relief. Way to go! As you have seen, PhoneGap Build makes installing an IPA or APK file on your test devices easy. The next step is to test the app on a variety of devices thoroughly. If you notice any problems related to the content, you'll need to go back to InDesign fix the problems, and then re-export the HTML files using N5. Then you would replace the index.html file and the assets folder in your My App folder, re-zip the file, and use the Update Code button to upload the new zip file to PhoneGap Build, and then rebuild the app. This is a pretty easy process at this point since you have all the certificates, icons, and splash screens in place. Once you're satisfied with your app, the next step is to build a distribution app, which is sometimes called a production app. For the Android version, this is already done, since on Android, the final development app is the one you will distribute. But for iOS, you need to build a separate distribution version of your app. The process is the same as building the development app, but you use your distribution, mobile provision, and P12 files. I'll show you how to do this in another lesson.